Hi, MP Mark Ware with another MP Minute down here at the Alder Grove Linden Border Crossing with Louise Yakovitz, CEO and President of the BC Trucking Association. Um, we are really excited uh, that we're here seeing the work that's ongoing with the construction of the new building. Back in April of 2014, uh, Minister Stephen Blaney came out and announced $17.7 .7 million to uh, fund the federal government funding a new uh, border crossing that that included uh, far beyond what was originally planned. It was uh, an expanded to two commercial lanes, and uh, and there wasn't going to be any commercial lanes. So two commercial lanes and now five uh, regular passenger lanes, and one of those five is going to be Nexus. Now that that all came because a whole bunch of people came together. You being one of the major leaders in that. And they were called for a study, and the study showed this was the only port in the region that had potential for growth. And what we've got today is fantastic, what's being built, but it could even be more and more as the, this area grows. This is the only crossing in the region that has potential for growth, so it's exciting. But Louise, to make this happen, and it was many years that you and I worked together on this, who were the other major players that made this possible? Well, Mark, I, I think you played a much more important and significant role than you are indicating, so I'd like to thank you, first of all. Uh, but we've also had the support of the International Mobility and Trade Corridor, which involves business organizations from both sides of the border, uh, as well as uh, CBSA and US CBP. Uh, the Langley Chambers of, Chamber of Commerce was very helpful, so really it was a whole group of people who made that effort happen. We had the Chamber of Commerce even from, I believe, think Bellingham or the, yes. the region. And uh, so it was very much a team effort. And uh, how many years was it that we worked on this? I, I think we were uh, working on this for almost seven years. So uh, what it, I think what it indicates is that the federal government was very willing to listen, which was really important, and we're very grateful to that. Well, we are very excited. I think uh, it's supposed to be completed in 2016, is that right? Yes, uh, that's my recollection too. And uh, so you're going to be here with us uh, in 2016 uh, for the ribbon cutting and it's going to be good for business, it's going to be good for trucking, it's going to be actually good for the environment too where you have a efficient uh, movement of uh, people and goods. That's a very good point. Um, as, as you mentioned at the very beginning, this is the only border crossing in the local area that, was, uh, that had the land that would allow us to um, expand, which is really important given the fact that the Eastern Fraser Valley is growing and more and more businesses are locating here and as they grow they're going to want to be able to um, increase their market share and in order to be able to do that they need to be able to move their goods and so um, they'll this this will allow them to expand their uh, expand their market into the US and so having that direct route is very important. Uh, location, location, location. So you're suggesting that Langley is a great place to do business and uh, and to expand into. Uh, I guess I did. <laughs> I think you did. So uh, consider Langley if you're a business person and you're looking for a place to invest, uh, a great location that, that uh, you're close to all the networks um, and the border crossings and rail. Uh, Langley's the place to be. So, Louise Yakwa, thank you again for all you've done uh, to making this day possible. And uh, we look forward to, to doing another MP Minute in uh, next year as we open uh, this incredible border crossing. Thank you.